What's up, guys? It's Jake, Legends Never Die, where neither will you if you know Jesus. This is a contest entry for my good friend, Mike, baseball collector, uh, celebrating 6,000 subscriptions, a million views, and a thousand videos. Pretty sure I got that right in one take. Before I get into my submission for the contest entry, uh, I am coming to you from my office today. I don't do a lot of videos from here, and I won't be showing any cards. So if you're here for cards, you don't have to watch the rest of it. Uh, and I debated whether I even wanted to put in an entry uh, for this or not um, because of what the contest is about. Not because I don't love Mike. Love Mike. And I decided ultimately I wanted to support him. Uh, but I did put my own little spin on his take for the contest. He wanted us to talk about our hobby pet peeves. Now, before I get into that, I'm going to read you guys a Bible verse. It comes from 1 Peter 3.13. It says, Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? That verse helped me change my mind on whether I wanted to put something into this contest or not. I understand everybody has things that get on their nerves. I do too. Uh, but I'm not big on complaining about them. I'd rather find solutions. Uh, so my version, as you probably saw in the title of this video, is Hobby Pet Peeve solutions. Uh, everybody, well, I should say nobody, nobody like somebody who complains without bringing a solution to the table, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so number one, prices in the hobby. Everybody likes to talk about that. Oh, the boom, everything costs more. This is so terrible. Can't collect anymore. Simple solution. If you don't like the prices in the hobby, don't pay them. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard. Um, if you know, the, the price of a Ford Raptor goes up, which I can't afford to begin with, um, and I don't like the price. I'm not going to buy it. Uh, I'm going to buy like a regular F-150 like I have now. Um, or if I really, really want that Raptor, or I really, really want a card, I'll save up the money. I'll show some self-control and discipline. I'll save it, and I'll buy it. That's my solution to prices in the hobby. Number two, influencers. People don't like the influencers, the flippers, the guys that just jumped in the hobby to, to make a buck. You don't have to like them. Just don't pay any attention to them. You know, there are plenty of them on YouTube. I don't watch them. I don't have a clue who half of them are because that's not what I'm interested in doing with my hobby. No kidding. Uh, I think his name's Baseball Card Investor. I think his name's Jeff, maybe. Uh, I had never heard of him until John Mangini talked about him and talked about how crazy he was. Why? Because I don't watch the influencer channels. <laughs> I watch the collector channels. I watch stuff I want to watch. Why would I want to watch stuff that I don't agree with? That's like uh, watching uh, all of the talking heads on ESPN these days with uh, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. You really want to talk? listen to those dummies? That's why I watch MLB Network. They, I actually enjoy listening to them. Duh. So don't watch the influencers if you don't like them. Simple. This one I heard a few times. Uh, there are too many parallels in the hobby today. The X-Fractors, the Green Fractors, the Zebra, the whatever. Simple solution to this one, too. If you don't like those parallels, don't collect them. Don't buy them. <laughs> it's okay if somebody does like them and wants to collect them and, and purchase those and make them a part of their PC. That's okay. That's part of the hobby. You know, Find what you like. There are a lot of different segments. Um, I don't like those parallels, really. I don't buy them. Big whoop. Number four. Uh, cu a couple things I'm going to talk about. Sellers, I guess. Dealers at shows, right? They don't have any, any prices on their cards, and uh, they're not paying you any attention. Instead of being like, oh, these dealers, so annoying, pet peeve. Just don't buy from them. <laughs> Just walk to a different table that does have prices on their cards or is paying you attention and, and shows great customer support. You know, don't let it get under your skin and waste your time when you could walk to somewhere that, you know, is going to treat you the way that you want to be treated. Uh, also about dealers with the, you don't like the, the Pelican case guys and then throwing them up on the, on the table. Just keep walking, man. Like, go to another table. It's okay. You know, it's, it's that dealer's loss for not paying attention to all his customers or allowing that to happen. 
You know, I mean, if they threw that Pelican case up on their table at a show and they said, hey, man, you know, step around to the side or come behind the table, you know, happy to take a look at what you want, but I don't want to take up my space. Would that be too much for a dealer to ask? I don't think so. But if they choose to, to let them be in the way, just move on. Find somebody that, you know, is willing to sell you stuff and not take up that space unnecessarily. Simple. Bad shipping practices. Okay, so you, you get uh, top loaders with the, the scotch tape on them. Or, you know, they, they throw them in there in a, you know, a Kleenex or something crazy. Leave them bad feedback. Don't buy from them again. You know, get it, put it in a new top loader. Sure, it may be annoying. And I mean, I don't, I don't want that to happen either. But don't buy from those guys. There are plenty of great sellers that package things great. You know, choose to su continue to support them. You know, even if it's an extra dollar or shipping, if they treat you right, go with those guys. Don't, don't just complain and keep going back, you know? That just doesn't make sense to me. I get that it happens every once in a while. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but don't complain. It happens. Move on. It's all right. Next, this is a YouTube-specific one. Oh, this this person's video, their, their camera wasn't sideways, or they mispronounced players' names wrong, or they said the wrong year for that vintage card, or the wrong parallel for this modern card. Well, instead of critiquing them and leaving a comment saying, hey, idiot, this is what it actually is, or you dummy, or I'm going to complain, you know, this video quality was terrible, blah, 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 or make a rant video about it, why not encourage those people? <laughs> We all started YouTube at, at some point, um, and we've all made mistakes uh, in making videos. None of us are professionals outside of Alex Bowman 53 uh, at this kind of thing. I mean, I've put up videos where I forgot to turn my camera and didn't even realize it until after I uploaded it. Big deal, man. You know, I, I am glad for the people that encouraged me to continue to make content. You know, we want this hobby, we want this community to grow, Let's not bash on each other. Let's let's encourage and help each other. I mean, I think that makes really a lot of sense to me. So I wanted to touch on all those, not not to bash my career's contest idea or anybody that complained about or talked about any of these pet peeves. I just think there are solutions for all of us, and uh, I choose to be positive. I just do. Um, I hope that a, a lot of you are just uh, venting and uh, getting some of that off your chest to make you feel better. But I think there's also a place to, you know, make it clear that we can encourage each other, highlight the positives in the hobby. Um, one other thing, like with dealers, I will say that I skipped over a second ago. If you don't like prices or you don't like them not having prices on their cards or bad people flipping to make a dollar, poor character, whatever. I can tell you two guys right now that are not any of those things. B. Roth 6, Brian Roth, and uh, Triple Crown 24, JT. Two great dudes right here in our community. Yeah, they're doing it to make a profit. So what? We all work for profit. <laughs> they're great people. They're fair on their prices. Great hobby guys. There's another solution to that one. I think there are solutions to a lot of these within our community. We just can't miss the forest for seeing the trees. You know, look past the negative stuff. Focus on the good. Focus on the positive. I'll read that one more time. First Peter 3.13. Who is going to harm you if you're eager to do good? Until next time, guys, keep collecting. God bless. Oh. And by the card, not the grade is the most overused phrase in the hobby. Y'all are buying graded cards. Y'all y'all ain't buying the card. You're buying the grade. Buying the card is what I do. Raw cards.